Good morning YouTube. This is Miss Candy Girl and I'm just coming to you with my one week sister lot update. Um, today is Saturday, January 22nd, and 2011 and I have had my sister locks for a week today and I am going to be washing my hair uh, in a few minutes and so I'm going to do a video about my first wash also after I do this one but I just wanted to I might actually try to connect these videos if I could figure out how to do that but anyway um, just wanted to come and give you a quick update about my one week's progress I know my hair is kind of wild right now but like I said I'm about to wash it um, it's curly because I did some uh, Bantu knots on the sides and um, I had did some perm rods in the front and all over at first and then the sides had got flat for me laying on it so I had did bantu knots and things on the sides and those came out really curly curlier than I was expecting it to do uh, and if you notice my hair is lighter in the front I did not curl it I mean, I'm sorry, I did not color it, okay? I did not color it because I know I'm not supposed to color it, and I already had that bad experimental coloring situation uh, a little bit ago, so I did not color it. I went to the hair supply store, and I got some of that, um, some of that uh, spray hair color that you spray in your hair, and it, it was like, it's a... Uh, um, royal bronze is the color and so I just sprayed it in the front of my hair and it's wearing off and that's why it's looking kind of like this but I wanted something to look natural and I got a lot of compliments on it and oh you colored your hair in front of me no <laughs> no I didn't <laughs> no more hair colors for me other than the spray at this point but anyway um yeah so i really liked how curly it came out with the bantu knots and things and so i might re-knot it up after i color it i mean i don't color it see i got color on the brain now anyway after i wash it um i might re-knot it up but soon as though i'm going to have to do the sections and uh, braid it and bundle it for my first wash and uh, those types of things anyway I might just do a braid out um, and just let it dry after I wash it with the braids and bundles in there and see what that looks like and come to you with a video about that also and so hopefully it doesn't look too wretched but anyway um, <clears throat> Yeah, so it's Saturday morning, and um, the only thing I could say that may be a negative with me having my sister locks is um, I have been doing some research on um, hair type and trying to figure out what hair type um, my hair is or, or was when it was out free, um, and I um don't get me wrong I'm I'm happy I got my sister locks um I just wish I had done that research about my hair type and different things to do with my hair and things like that um, prior to uh, getting my sister locks so I would have been more educated and know more but now that I am locked I am happy um, I am having issue with dry scalp as I already told you I have very dry uh, scalp and hair usually and so and my lactician was like don't put anything but water on it and don't put any uh, chemical or oils or anything into the locks which I guess is as understandable um, and so I'm going to wash it hopefully that works but I have been watching YouTube and shout out to um, shout out to who's this lady on YouTube that I always watch uh, shout out to Bronze Goddess zero one uh, she's fabulous check out her videos um, she's got all kinds of uh, lock tutorials make makeup tutorials and um, she's also got uh, 
uh, watching a comprehensive lock tutorial, a uh, lock video that she has done that has some information on it. And she led me to another fabulous lady on YouTube. Shout out to Coco Film and uh, some information that uh, she has done in regards to the uh, SCV rents. And so I will be trying that because Coco Film uh, gave some information about the ACV rents, which is the apple cider vinegar rents, um, which is a little bit of apple cider vinegar and um, a lot of water. You mix that together and put that on your your scalp and that that's supposed to help with the dry scalp and so since that's natural and it's mostly water I'm gonna get a either an applicator bottle if I can find a free one around here as you know how I don't ever have the supplies I need but um, or a spray water bottle and try to spray that and get that in directly into my roots and everything after I wash my hair uh, so I'm definitely going to try that and so um, thank you Bronze Goddess and Coco Film for uh, giving us the information that we need in regards to the best way to maintain and keep up our locks as well as uh, good styling tips. And so um, I'm definitely going to try that and see if that's uh, at the ACV rinse is going to help with the dry scalp. Uh, it's also supposed to help with build up in your locks from uh, the videos that I've watched for them. And I'm definitely going to uh, be an advocate of that after I try it if it works the way that they say it does, which I trust that it would. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, that's basically the my update for my sister locks um they uh i don't know i'm feeling some i'm feeling some maybe some you know some new growth i'm not there's i haven't experienced any slippage but um i have noticed that it feels like some of my locks i don't know if it's the way that she did it or what but some of them are the they are smaller than some of the other they're not all the same size you know they're not all uniform like I was thinking they were supposed to be in the back and everything like that um, she did do the parting grid larger in the back than she did in the front and um, I kind of had the idea she was going to do that. I just wasn't anticipating that my locks were going to be in, in different sizes. And maybe that also has something to do with the texture and density of my hair in the back or whatever the case may be. So when it matures, well, hopefully we'll see. Hopefully all that works out. It works itself out so where it's not looking crazy or anything like that. Plus, um, she had to do a lot of back combing when she was putting installing my locks. And so I have like... Some I don't know if you can see this, but I have some thicker ends from the back combing on some of my locks, and some of them don't. Some t some of them just go straight out. So it's like like it was a a knot on the end of my lock, and then there's my loose hair. Um, but other part, other locks don't have that. So I'm trying to see if I can get one of each so you can see the difference here. So like this one and this one. This one has a, a knot on the end that's pretty thick. And it's a thicker size lock also. And this one just goes straight down to my loose hair without that knot. See? So I hope you all can see that. And so, anyway. Um, so that's kind of bugging me a little bit. But again, I just have to see how the progress goes. And I know that I'm not going to have these loose ends or whatever forever once it does mature. Which, a year sounds like a really long time to me. I don't know. You guys let me know if 
a year um, if you are sister locked if you may have been told by your consultant or whatever the case may be that it'll take about a year for your hair with your hair type uh, being maybe a, a looser curl softer hair texture um, and uh, a, th a thin to medium uh, texture hair that it would be about a year for your hair to actually lock um, settle in and lock instead of the six to nine months that I was researching for most people and so I don't know send me a comment let me know if that sounds like that's a, uh, about a long enough like the, if that is a, a an accurate time frame because that just seems like that's a long time for me to be braiding and bundling to do my hair washes and and also um, it's been suggested to me by her to wash my hair at least once a week which I guess is fine but to be doing all of that I don't even want to be honest with you I don't even want to do it now for the first wash much less for a year every week braiding and bundling in little bitty sections so she told me to do like five to six of these locks and you see how small they are you see how small they are um, five to six and braid them into braids and bundle them at the end and have those you know and having to do that process just to wash my hair for a year I don't know. Let me know. Send me a comment. Send me a message. Let me know something because I, I don't know if that that that's just for me. That's just not sitting right with me. I, that's the that's the main. That's one of the main things about the process that's really not sitting right with me. So if you have any other information or if you think otherwise or if you even agree, let me know. Send me a comment. Um, leave me a message. Anything so maybe I could just get more education at, at the very least But anyway, this is getting kind of long of a video. So I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna come back with another video uh, With the whole braiding and bundling and washing process and let you know how that works out. So definitely uh, Thank you for watching. Thank you for my subscribers holla and um, Rate comment and subscribe and I will see you all soon Check you later. Peace.